Hi, welcome to Ron's Bikes TV. I'm Ron, and these are my bikes. This is my childhood garage. I've been tinkering in here since I was 13 years old. I'm 21 now, so you do the math. Today we're going to learn how to install the Peck Deck chest support to boost up your chest and get the most out of all of your cubic centimeters. The Peck Deck is not a rack. It's a bag of parts that you can make into a rack. Please don't sue me. In this short video, you will learn what tools you need to install the Peck Deck, what comes with the Peck Deck, and how to install the Peck Deck. And maybe learn a little bit about yourself in the process. First off, or we might be at third or fourth off right now, the Peck Deck is a Fabio's chest support. A mini rack that's not a rack, a bag of parts, remember. Again, don't sue me. Okay, now let's get started. Walk with me. Let's check out the tools and parts that we have on this nice rag. What you have here is the Peck Deck as it comes in the package, already put together. Some of these guys with Loctite already applied and four nylon washers. Four. Uh, tools that you'll need to install this Peck Deck. A 10 millimeter open end wrench, a four millimeter Allen key, and perhaps some needle nose pliers. And a good attitude. Um, better call mall. Go to the mall. Let's install go to the mall. Okay. Okay, let's get at it. So we got Nam's bike up here in the bike stand. Um, and if you will notice, we've got some mid some mid mounts right here. This is a low rider mount and a mid mount on her fork. Most well designed bikes will have options like this for mounting racks and such. Um, if you have got a carbon fork without these, then just get a new bike. And for this install, we're going to use this mount right here. This is where the struts are going to mount. So let's do that. So go from this to this. Can you hold it up, please? Okay. Now, these P-clips slide on the aluminum bar up here. And then we have these neato nuts right here, which make the struts sl slide until you tighten them. So keep everything loose right now. You're gonna to wanna to fit to, to your bike first. Okay, okay. You might recognize this. It's a Fab's chest. This is a size small. If you flip it upside down, you'll see that you have daisy chains running underneath. That's where this aluminum bar is gonna go. So, slide your struts in the middle and you want to have it so this is your orientation the nuts face this way and you're going to find usually this daisy chain or this daisy chain whatever fits better on your bike you know once you install it and you're going to slide through here and then slide through the other side once centered you're going to work these bars or the you're going to work what are we calling these things you p clip things so that they're nice and snug to the inside of the daisy chain who was daisy where are her chains and now we are going to attach the bag to the handlebar like you would ordinarily important to get the closure on the bag nice and tight. So your closure is likely different. So now that we have our bar installed, we're ready to run the struts down to the mid mounts. These stainless bolts. And first you're going to add a nylon washer and take another nylon washer over with you with your four millimeter. You could orient the strut however you'd like. I think we're going to go this way. 
Now, the key is to sandwich the strut between these two nylon washers. So you have a sandwich. Now don't over tighten anything just yet. Our next strut. Okay, as you can see, this uh, system is already um, supplying a great deal of support. It is in my pink. I hope you guys enjoyed that and you can take something from it. Uh, what you want to do now is just drop the bag down as far as you can. It's going to be more sturdy. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to mark the struts with a magic marker. You could surely just leave these things extended like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the struts all the way. Be sure you catch these two pieces right here. Don't lose these. They're expensive. Okay, so put that strut in your bench vise if you have one. All right, here we go. Uh, we want to make the second strut the same length, so it doesn't hurt just to line them up like this. And just going to take a file and take off any burrs. I never do this on my own bike, but this is for NAMS. And I love NAMS. I love myself too, but not this much. Good enough. Okay, let's get at it. And now we are ready for the final install. You're gonna take these expensive pieces right here. Do one at a time. You're going to run your strut back through, just like this. Make your sandwich again. Nugget, not too tight. All right, now you're going to take your 10 millimeter open end. And we're going to do our final fit and tighten. Once those nuts are tightened, the P-clips on the aluminum bar are going to be nice and sturdy. They're not going to move at all. And you're going to tighten them just enough so you don't crush the nylon washers and so that there's a little bit of movement possible. You want the strut to be able to slide between those nylon washers. There you have it, chest in basket mode. Right over the top. And as you can see, the thing is really, really sturdy. You don't need a strap to put around the head tube, but you know, if you'd like to, feel free. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You've just installed the pec deck, you're supporting your chest, you're ready to get out there in the world and really show what yeah, yeah. Oh. only at ronsbikes.com